this is just pure annihilation at this point. Even Goldman Sachs figured it out last night. They said, uh, I think we got a problem here. At the end of the day, there's a lot of problems here that are going on with trillions upon trillions of promises on the fiscal side. You're gonna get Powell today on the monetary printing press side. So again, that's what they're doing. They're explicitly devaluing the dollar at the fastest rate in US history on both a relative and absolute basis to any other country that exists in humankind because there's a 98% inverse correlation between the two big things that we like, which is gold and commodities this morning. That's a new high, okay? That's even better than stocks. See how that's coming down? 59 on the SPX. It's a little better in oil. We've been trading around oil nicely, if I don't say so myself. The US stock market, if I, correct me if I'm wrong, Genron, but yesterday it was down. Um, so you can see that on the bongo board, it was down. Chinese stocks were up 2.1% last night. That's not down, that's up a lot. Actually, in the last month, Chinese stocks are up 11.3%. Copper hitting, again, not a new high, but textbook correction to the low end of the range, that's in your pin sheet. Cocoa, you know, that goes in like chocolate. That's 1.5% this morning. Uh, wheat up 1.3% this morning. Did I say wheat? Cotton, cotton up 1.1% this morning. It's broadening, okay? It's broadening. The breadth and depth of the commodity inflation is broadening, okay?